Good evening, welcome, welcome, welcome! It's time for the show to begin, so kick on back, relax, grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab a snack, or whatever it is you feel like starting the day off with or ending the night off with. Because it is time for us to play some more Sam and Max Beyond Space and Time, or is it time and space? I'm always confused by that title, I never know which it is. <laughs> <laughs> like I could, look, I could be looking right at it, and I still screw it up. <laughs> anyway, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Tyvel. Welcome to the show. If you're watching live right now or watching the archive, hi, hello. How are you all doing today? Hopefully, you're doing all of the things and nice and all kinds of goodness. Because it's time for me and you to have some fun. So we're moving on to episode 3 now. It's been a bit since I played the last episode of Sam and Max. If I remember correctly, we were... Something to do with Maui heads, Banang, sea monkeys, and... Max becoming a god of some sort, or a high priest? I think so? Yeah. 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 No, it was. I got it. I remember. Alright. Let's switch over to the live scene here. Let's see what we got to roll with. There I am in the corner! Yay! I look so cute and adorable and marketable. Alright, soon these down real low here because I want to actually have some audio from the game playing. You, know, you can all hear that properly. Let's see here. That should be good to go! Yes! Wonderful! All right, let's see. Uh, wait, I, or, do I have subtitles on? I forget if I actually do or not. I, I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do, okay. 
I forgot if I did or not. Like, maybe it. Alright, so. We have episode 2. We have episode 3 now. Is that a zombie? Episode 3. Does that man have nipple piercings? Hello! <laughs> My guy, that looks painful. Anyway. Episode 3, Night of the Raving Dead. They're coming to get you, Barbara. If you get the reference, I am proud of you. But also, hello, Grandpa. <laughs> You're either old as shit, or you like horror movies like I do. <laughs> Zombie attack! Droves of undead are converging in the streets. Now, Sam and Max must confront their leader, a Eurotrash vampire with a style all his own. Are the freelance police cool enough to outsmart this emo before his flesh-eating army usurps the Western world? We shall see. All right, let's go. I got some nice coffee for the day. It's good. Mm. In the archives of Telltale Games, Sam and Max. Dramatic much? You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your souls will satisfy my dark masters once and for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world! <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! Yep, you owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. <laughs> no matter! Oh, we shall see how you make with the wisecracks after you are dead! Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. I wondered where I'd left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait! Do the whole thing with the music and all that! Oh, all right. Night of the Raving Dead! <laughs> I love it! Oh, yeah. Also, I'm concerned. That man, Jurgen. That little manlet. Was. Did he have the keys to an old Toyota hanging from his nipple? Did I see that right? I'm terrified to know. <laughs> Rick, that assumption. Bang! Boom! Pow! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Doesn't being High Priest of Easter Island and President violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. A goat born with an HDMI port, an unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth, and bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner. Lightning, a dog castle, death! A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Do you mind not making so much noise? Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie he took attack. The hand What's the that, basket. Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Jen running George A. Romero in a baby doll t shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. We're on the case. The Commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies! Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you! Oh, sweet God. Ooh, message. We just got a message. We just got a message. Wonder who it's this from. This is Sybil. Could you please tell Honest Abe that I'll never speak to him again in my whole life? Ever? Even if I'm being dragged 
the streets by wild donkeys. Thanks. Feisty. It's civil. If you see Mr. Lincoln, tell him he left his hat at my place. And P.S. He owes me a new hat rack. You let him hang his giant marble hat? Civil again. Oh, tell God. Tell what's his name that I haven't thought about him in months. And, oh yeah, I've got men falling all over me. Eat that, cheater! Okay, thanks, guys. Are we done? We good? Yes, good. Phone! Can you hear me now? Good! <laughs> Can you hear me now? Oh, wait, the window's open. Take this, passersby! No! My 11,000 domino chain in the shape of Jaja Gabor! Well, then that's oddly specific. No! My 11,000 domino chain in the shape of Jaja Gabor! <laughs> Fuck you and your dominoes. It's the place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. You. Amelia Earhart sure screamed bloody blue murder when we yanked her chair out from under her. She's a baby. Brady's a lot more appealing when you can balance drinks on his head. Hmm. Fantastic! I think you're saying that wrong. You, got, you gotta be a bit more loud, obnoxious, effeminate. Fantastic! <laughs> uh, no signal! The zombies must have taken over the TV station! No, we took our only antenna. I still blame the zombies. I mean, that's definitely fair. Ooh, North Pole. Hello? This is officially the northernmost pole on Earth. You sure? Hi, Leonard. Hey, Leonard. <laughs> Why'd we save this again? To snack on! Uh... Fair enough. Empty. I think I hear a tiny tumbleweed blowing by inside. Oh, well, lovely. Chattanooga doo-doo. If reviews got reviewed, this one would get four and a half stars. Chattanooga doo-doo. Lovely! Potions, filing cabinet... Where'd you file our last case? Under W for waste of our lives, comma, a freaking huge. Fair enough, I mean, we didn't get paid. We did not get paid for that, it was a mess. been off looking for Bosco for a while now. Uh, claim his office. And people said a slab of curiously shaped rock couldn't be vice president. I mean... As much as they do, or it's like they do, it works. You know what they say about guys with big feet? They have big thongs. I don't know if big thongs, but big dongs, um, uh, maybe. Alright, out into the streets. Oh my god. Beat it, deadbeat. Yeah. Go away, hooligan. I'm sorry. Look, Max, it's our undead vandal. And... Shall I beat him relentlessly now? No, you might damage Jesse James's hand. It's a national treasure. You sure about that? Hey, buddy, give us that hand back. I guess he needs the hand more than we do. That's I a lie. I guess he needs the hand more than we do. Ooh, tanker. So, the zombies drink beer. A clue, perhaps? Let's press on. I mean, I'd consider like what in the actual the lucky vermin. Oh, now showing Robert Goulet's hamster, Gigi. It's a regular carcass of sin. Did you turn the husk of this burnt-out wind-up robot into a effing casino, Jimmy? Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Two Teeth? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. 
He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. Wow, okay, dick. Can we shoot the zombies, by the way? Die. Eat my ass. Screw you. Die. Well, it won't work now. Oh well. A road sign on the highway to hell. I'm on the highway to hell. Rat. Zombies. Zombies attack city. So what's the bad news? Max, look behind you. <gasps> Zombies! <laughs> it's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him T-H-E-M were coming. I mean... We did a pretty good job of doing that, to be fair. Come on, can we shoot the lock off? No. Sadly. Makes me sad. Sybil's gonna go inside. How's the inside look? I'm actually kind of curious about that. How was that held up? Did that survive the trip? Take an amber and I'll be with you. Oh, hi Sam and Max. I'm uh, out of applications right now, so uh, let's just be friends. Sure. Excuse me? What happened to Abe? I'm sure I don't know to whom you are referring. So, Mr. Molman. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Harry. Tell me more about you. Well, let me see. Interesting things about me. Tappy, tappy, tappy. We're waiting. There's nothing interesting about yours there. Knickknacks come and go, but Newton's balls are forever. Oh, yeah. What gives, Sybil? Did you start your dating service again? Not quite. All my clients are applying for dates with me. Um, as kind of officers of the law, we have to point out that that's kind of illegal. Does that mean we can shoot her to regain health points or something? What? No. Get your heads out of the gutter. It's not like that. I'm looking for my soulmate. I mean, I, I, I look, I get that, but like... Uh, I don't know. Still sounds kind of sketchy. How are you going to find your soulmate? Not by jumping in with the first reanimated statue that comes along. That's for sure. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous interviews, and finally, the soulmater. I want it! The soulmater? Excuse me? What does the soulmater do? Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. Doesn't that sound romantic? I could just die! Sounds like a very real possibility. I love all the crossed out images of apes just sitting around. <laughs> I love it. Oh, hey, look. How's it going, eh? Also, I my eyes keep going to that list over there, or that little poem. I'm curious. Sure you don't need help with that soulmate or Sybil? If you're not married by now, there's not much time left. There's Ouch. plenty of time. I still have a lot of data love, to analyze I while I figure out how the soulmate works. When you talk, uh, let's see, here, let's see if you're going to read it from here. Uh, let's see, I love you when you walk, when you talk, and you. Hmm. Sure, you don't need help with that soulmate or Sybil? If you're not married. There's plenty of time. I still have and a lot sigh, of data to analyze while I figure out I how love the soulmate works. I love it when it rains. Okay. It's a shoot little love poem. It's cute, but. Eh. Have you had a lot of applicants? A few. If you know anybody, anybody else, of course, send them my way. A lot of these guys have no chance, but I'm still interviewing them to be polite. Speaking of which, what kind of movies do you like, Harry? No, I don't go to the movies that much because of my stigmatism. Oh, Harry Molman. You are one of the worst characters to exist in this entire thing. 
Like, I I love you, but you but you're so annoying because you're so just flat out fucking pathetic. Uh, give Abe a chance. Don't you want to give Abe another chance? Abe, who? You were telling me more about yourself, Harry. I was detailing my various prescriptions and inhalers, if I remember correctly. Oh my god. Do you know who he reminds me of? If any of you will, like, watch South Park, he reminds me of Kyle's cousin, Kyle. I'm big! <laughs> How can you afford to keep your shop, Sybil, when you don't have a new job? I'm still getting residuals from when I was Queen of Canada. The new location is a lot better for me. Not as nice as Edmonton with its temperate summers and outstanding cost of living, but I get by. Oh, royalties! I get it! You just... what do you mean, New Location? You just moved! Not even a football field away! You're not even a city block in distance from your original spot! You're in the same location! What do you mean? Ever hear of the zombie factory? <laughs> do you know anything about a place called the zombie factory? Zombies? Where? Hmm. Irrational fear of zombies. Interesting. But yes, I Irrational did get an email about something like that from some friends in Europe into the whole equal rights for the undead thing. Can't remember where exactly. Equal rights for the undead? What? Remember to lock up tonight so the zombies can't get in. Get in? There are zombies right outside? I'm not going to lock my door. This is a public place, and they have the right to peacefully assemble just like anyone else. What if they eat your brains? They're coming to get you, Sybil. Remember to lock up tonight so the zombies... Get in! I'm not going to... <laughs> Good luck finding your soulmate. This has nothing to do with luck, Sam. It's all about psychology and technology. I don't... I don't like that. Also, you... Sybil's been serving people left and right. This is your 46th application? Who the fuck? Uh, hey, look at a photo. Strange. A freak mishap has defaced every single one of these Lincoln photos. It's Sybil's soul mater. Right. I'm going to need that, so don't touch it. But I want to poke it. Let me poke it. <laughs> Harry Molman. Last time we saw you, you were... Yeah, yeah, on the moon. What's all this I keep hearing about zombie attacks? They're moon everywhere! The you boys have guns, right? Are we just not getting through to these people? Yeah, we're really not that complicated, Harry. <laughs> so, how's the suitor business? How are things going with you and Sybil? Oh, she's playing hard to get. But women have a hard time resisting my charms. <laughs> oh, my oh God. she'll grow to love me. <laughs> yes, she will. Oh, my sweet God. <laughs> Harry, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yes, she'll grow to love me. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Harry, but Sybil's not that into you. She's more into the whole hard rock scene. Just wait till she gets a load of my oboe. Was that clumsy innuendo or a pathetic attempt to sound cool? Both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girl. You wanna... You want to blow in my oboe with me? <laughs> He's so gross. <laughs> you have no shot, ma'am. Do you really think you have a chance with Sybil? I'm in it to win it! Ha-ha! <laughs> I mean, maybe you are, but God, you're not getting anywhere. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Zombies don't make things! They break them! No, it's a factory that makes zombies. Inconceivable! 
That's like making hate and evil and awfulness. So you're saying you don't like zombies? What's wrong with zombies? They're like my favorite thing in The Sims. It's too bad that you're not really in the other games, apart from like two and three. Mm. Oh well. We have mods to fix that though. What have you got against zombies? Disgusting creatures. They're always breaking things. Zombies are why we can't have nice things. No, I'm pretty sure it's you and your beat little eyes the why we can't have nice things. Wait, the reason you don't like zombies is that they break things? Yes! Stupid, clumsy undead. And that bothers you more than the brain eating? They're hell on knickknacks. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you still into prismatology? No, it's not. Oh, no. Between the four of us, I wasn't that into it in the first place. You just relocated to the moon for it. Well, think how great docent looks on a resume. It, it it really really doesn't. It, it no, it really doesn't. Really, it does not. What are you doing for work these days? Well, I'm hoping the stipend from this job holds me over. Sybil's paying men to be her suitor. Of course not. But they don't know that. Well then. See you later, Harry. Zombie. <laughs> Zombie! Ah! <laughs> Zombie! Ah! <laughs> I can't get enough of that shit. Hey, nice chocolate heart. Yes, it's a sweet gift for the sweetest girl who would return my calls. How romantic. Yeah, how flat out pathetic. Apparently, Sybil suitors have never heard Can't Buy Me Love. I'm not going back in that closet. Not after all we've accomplished. Excuse me, what? I'm not going back in that closet. Not after all we've accomplished. Is... Is that a... Is that an innuendo? Am I, am I forgetting some of the previous game chapters? Is... Is something going on here, Sam? Eh, no, never mind. No, it's not. All right, let's see here. Come on. You getting stuck here, here and there, Max? What are we doing here again? I thought we were trying to win a date with Sybil. Gosh, no, Max. We've got a job to do. You don't even like girls. What a relief! Now I don't have to kill you to get rid of the competition. I excuse me. Am I the only one filled with a sense of dread at the sight of that? Thing? Ah, Harry's not so bad. He's just made some poor life choices. Not Harry, numbskull. That sunflower. It's like it's staring right into my soul. <laughs> Out of all the things you can be scared of here, it's not Harry. It's not all the crazed, like, things Sybil has been doing as of late. It's not the number above her head. It's not the, the glowing orb that you can ponder upon that's purple and pink. No, it's the sunflower. It's hard to believe Sybil's having such a hard time finding her soulmate. Yeah, considering there are only three women in the entire city, the odds should be in her favor. You know, that's a fair point. There actually aren't a whole lot of female characters we've come across so far in this game. Or really any of the games. Hmm. What do you think of Harry's odds for landing a date with Sybil? Hard to say, Sam. On the one hand, they're from completely different worlds. On the other hand, her last boyfriend was the decapitated head of a statue of a former president. Love is strange. It really is. I never pictured Harry Molman as a ladies' man. I still don't. No Stay close, should. Max. You got it, Sam. No one should. Oh, well, let's go. Back out into the wild blue yonder. Oh, Stinky! She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist! Oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. 
Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? I mean, look, I'd love to, but, like, I'm not gonna carry his fat ass out of here. It's just a pie. It's not something you really talk about. Are you sure? It's just a pie. It's not something you really talk about. But I want to talk about it. Because knowing this place... That pie is probably terrifying. It's probably a war crime. Ever hear of a thing called the zombie factory, stinky? Or not stinky? Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Oh, sure. <laughs> I was a foreman at a zombie factory for a year while I was riding my opera. They're good workers. As long as you don't let them unionize. No, this isn't a factory that hires zombies. It's a factory that makes zombies. Oh, well, <gasps> then, uh, did you say zombies? I thought you said elves. It, but... How do you get... Oh my god, you're... I, I, I hate how much you irritate me. Zombies giving you much trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name... No, they're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your friend Lincoln is the real horror. I mean, to be fair, he is trouble. He is a piece of work. Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I'm just now picturing the disembodied head of Abe Lincoln trying to pay someone in old ass Confederate States of America money. <laughs> I love it. So, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like, from beyond the grave? What are you talking about? Grandpa's still on his Himalayan mountain climbing junket. I... Is he really? I thought you said Grandpa Stinky was on an around-the-world cruise. Let's watch as the spider tries to free herself from her own web of lies. Oh, he sent me a postcard. His cruise was hijacked by Sherpa terrorists. They ended up making him their god, and now they're following him on a quest to scale the world's tallest peaks. Well, her story does seem to hold up. No, 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 it doesn't. It was pretty nice of Grandpa Stinky to leave his entire restaurant empire to you. <laughs> Some empire? Zombies, deadbeat ex-presidents, trivia cheaters. Makes me wonder if it was worth the effort. If what was worth the effort? Oh, nothing. Hmm. What's with a sunlamp, woman who will call Stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Oh, I mean, of course, that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. Can we have the sign lamp by chance? Can we have your sign lamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. Hmm, well, thank you. But why do you have one? What's a sun lamp doing in a restaurant? Did you think the food wasn't hazardous enough without the threat of melanoma? Oh, that. I was just going through some of the old things Stinky uh, Grandpa had in storage. I need a big box for packing things that need to be sent away. Hmm. You know, as uh, suspicious as you're being, we're feeling mighty peckish. Uh, peckish? Peckish. Peckish. Hungry. Can we have something? We'd like to order something. Supplies are low because of the zombie attacks, so, uh, we're probably out. You do realize that's not going to stop us, right? Go ahead. <laughs> I love how I just, I just love how we piss everyone off. I love it. Alright. I like the special. The special? Ah, my special gooey molasses tar cake. It's an ancient family recipe. Ancient? You've heard of the La Brea Tar Pits, of course, but have you ever tasted them? Sold. I'll take two slices. Sorry, I used up the blowtorch on some zombies who didn't tip. It's impossible to cut. You're welcome to look at it, though. Just don't touch. 
you you need a blow torch to cut that thing and you used the blow torch on zombies who didn't tip or pay the hell uh fine we'll take the enchiladas then crab and salamander enchiladas in green sauce sal i want lou dobbs and greta van sester and doing double dutch on the back of a rogue elephant <laughs> excuse me tuna noodle casserole with onion rings Ooh, Get onions. me one Rudy Giuliani with no pants and sequined garters. And a tuna noodle casserole with onion rings. <laughs> Excuse me? Tuna noodle casserole with onion rings. Get me one Rudy Giuliani with no pants and sequined garters. And a tuna noodle casserole with onion rings. <laughs> I don't want to picture that, but I'm picturing it. <laughs> <laughs> Seared grouper in a maple syrup reduction with bacon wrapped dates and toffee chips. Served on a bed of Venezuelan newspaper clippings. Sal, number three. <laughs> you, that gets ordered, that specifically gets ordered so often, you just call it the number three. Fuck it, okay. Uh, the chicken chow mein? Chicken chow mein with chocolate covered raisins and a caramel swirl. Sal, give me a hyperactive spider monkey and a powder blue cardigan, and why don't we go ahead and wrestle him to the ground and tickle him till he pees? I have got to see what goes on in this kitchen. <laughs> you and me fucking both. <laughs> Chicken chow mein with chocolate covered raisins and a caramel swirl. Sal, give me a hyperactive spider monkey and a powder blue cardigan, and why don't we go ahead and wrestle him to the ground and tickle him till he pees? I have got to see what goes on in this kitchen. I just had to hear it one more time. Okay. Nothing for now. us, thanks. Bye. <laughs> what else we got? Ooh, the war song. Nice. What's shaking, Abraham? She's gone. Left me. Who's gone? Who's gone? Sybil! <laughs> of course she left you! She dumped you like yesterday's breakfast when she caught you macking on the Moai heads! I was sure it was just one of her moods. My god, man, you're an idiot. Quit Come crying. on, Abe. Take it like a man. Think of all the advantages of being single. Like what? Um... Freedom. You've got total freedom. Complete lack of direction. Uh, no obligation. You can do what you want, when you want. You answer to nobody. And nobody cares if you die. <laughs> Woo um, play the field. You can meet lots of new people. And have a never-ending string of shallow, unfulfilling encounters. We seem to be working this at cross purposes, at Max. Maybe, but this way I get to annoy two people at once. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, Sybil's on the prowl. Sybil's looking for a new boyfriend. Fine, I don't care. Aren't yes, you jealous? You not at all. And hanging out near her office is not stalking. No matter what she says. No, no, it, it, it's stalking and you got dumped, champ. You really blew it with Sybil, huh? It was just a simple misunderstanding. Like, I can't understand why you aren't as hot as that Moai head? She took that completely out of context. No, 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 she did not. You, I remember that episode. My man, you imply that she should get plastic surgery to make her look more like the fucking Moai head. You are a piece of shit. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Do you mean like a factory that comes to life after it's been shut down, cranking out products in a hideous parody of actual production, destroying other factories it comes into contact with? No, that's not what we're looking for. But I wish we were. What do you know about zombies? Pests. Hooligans. They always gather outside the memorial with their million zombie rallies and groanings. Always playing that awful music they listen to. Excuse me? How do you stop a zombie? Beats me. Just between the three of us, I'm pretty hopeless at anything except making speeches. 
I mean, I don't know. If you're like the Lincoln from the, uh, what, what, was, what were those shitty movies? It was like a uh, Lincoln Vampire Hunter and Lincoln Zombie Killer, something like that. I mean, you could be like that, Lincoln. You know, you never know. You, you never know. How do you stop a zombie? Beats me. Just between the three of us, I'm pretty hopeless at anything except making speeches. <sighs> Now, so, in the grand scheme of things, right, Lincoln, you, not only are you an asshole, like a massive, massive asshole to your girlfriend, but you also are pretty much next to useless. All Keep right, a see stiff, ya. hairless upper lip, Abe. Always. Oh, God. What better use for deer skin than a percussive device? I bet the deer could think of one. The plastic Fair. palm is the only source of authentic plastic coconuts. Ooh, hello. I forgot about this. I must do it. Satisfying. All right. I guess he's Mexican African American. Do, do, do. I love the diner music. I love it so much. I wish there was like, like a vinyl I could buy a Saramax. I'm pretty sure there maybe is one somewhere out there. But God only knows how much it would cost. I actually looked into I looked into getting a vinyl for Pulse Lamb, right? Because I found out they they made one. And holy fuck! Like it's like a hundred and fifty fucking dollars! That's insane! I mean, granted, compared to the TF2 soundtrack on vinyl, right? So, like, when I got that, I got it, like, right when it came out from Valve. So, it was, like, I think, like, between, like, 35 and 45 bucks, right? And it's a really good quality, it's a good print, it's fun, it's awesome to listen to. And out of pure curiosity, because, you know, I, I, I just... Genuine was, genuine was curious. So I wanted to see what it was worth now, right? And I also kind of wanted to get a version of the album on CD. So I, I went to Amazon and looked around. The vi the CD is like 20, 30 bucks. Fair enough. But I saw they actually had a few vinyls on, on there for sale as well. I think it was like I think the, the example I saw was like two hundred fucking dollars. Insane! Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know? There. Are oh. you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S O L. So simple, Shut even a what? zombie could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What the fuck is up with that with Bluster Blaster? What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a processing accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. We regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. Is he high? Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? He had me fixed before they brought me home. Excuse me? <laughs> Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. You've unlocked a new area. What'd he say that for? We do not know. He has been like this ever since the accident. Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart, right. Forgot it already. You're selling the internet to zombies. You're selling the internet to zombies? Not just the internet, but much, much more. 
From trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart Online is the premier online zombie destination. What? Didn't we, uh, destroy the internet? Didn't we destroy the internet? Luckily, El Gore was able to recreate the internet from his original plans. What's on the internet that would interest a droning, glassy-eyed zombie anyway? Al Gore recreated the internet in his own image. Uh... What... what... Y you know what, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know what the internet in Al Gore's image is. I, I, I don't want to know. What's so great about Stuttgart Online? It's the fun, easy-to-use online experience for zombies and zombies at heart. Hmm. You know, that's, that's all cool, it's all interesting. However, I just want to pimp my car. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. SOL. It still just sounds to me like you're, you're, you're trying to excel shit out of luck. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? <laughs> we'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. I like wearing short pants. <laughs> Would you like to begin driving now? <laughs> what kind of short pants are you wearing? Excuse me? Okay. Let me get a drink of my coffee and then we're gonna we're gonna have some fun here. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's Affirmative. go. Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Hello, and welcome to the Pimpla Car Marketing Challenge. I want to shoot things. Please deliver the magic of SOL to the displayed number of zombies. We'll make Mad Pink. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready, go! Alright, let's go. Oh. oh, okay, that's weird, okay. Oh, it's a delay. Ew! Fuck you, Baltimore! There we go. Yeah. Hey! I went too far over. Oh, come on. Yeah. I hate this delay so much. I hate it with a burning passion. Yeah. Congratulations, you've won! The antenna is mine! Hooray! I suck well done! So much. We've installed your new super high powered antenna. We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winners. Not the light. I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well. You get to figure it out for yourselves. <laughs> Not the light. I don't want to see the bright light again. Please no. Hey, cops. We want to throw more CDs at zombies. Thank you for helping us make SOL a middling success. 
We are all out of car attachments. But you can keep driving for more fun promotional decals. All right. Stickers are fun. Would yes, you like are. to begin driving now? Yeah, Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Woo! Oh my god, that antenna's fucking obnoxious. Ready? Holy shit. Go! Yeah! Fuck you! I'm assuming that bird bath probably something? Maybe? I, I don't entirely know. No! That gnome's gotta be something. Little shit. You survived this day, gnome! Okay, so... Hey! I got a kegger decal, cool. Shady. Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> you bet. Yes. Excellent. Initiating do hyphen over sequence. Ready? Go! No! Oh, I missed the no. Oh no! Nah. Missed the nah. mulligan, you bitches! No! Nah. I, just hit the, I had to nah. shoot the no. So, I am so tempted just to run all the zombies over. Yeah, that gnome has got to be something. It's got to be. I can feel it in me bones. Ball! New decal. I got a ball. We all have a nice big ball, don't we, chat? Nope. Yep. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god, I suck so much ass. Would you like to try again? Yes. You bet. We're just getting warmed up. Excellent. Initiating do hyphen over sequence. Ready? Shoot the zombies. Go! You got it, boss. Oh god, god. Uh, eh. Oh, I can't hit shit. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, that was a. Oh, man. I miss that mouse. Some bitch. Yeah, well, that was a hit. Okay, so I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. Kinda. Not really. I say as I proceed to miss every single thing. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get a bunch of hits real soon here. Would you like to try again? I'm getting closer though. And how? Ready? Go! Here we go. Bam! Ooh. How? I missed you, bitch! Ooh. There we go. Now I'm starting to hit things properly. Well, I say that and I can there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh! Oh, I am absolutely drop dead. Yes, I am doing Congratulations, you won! Things. Would you like to keep right. trying for more decals? Yes. You bet. Ready? Five, okay. Go! The challenge. Screw you. Big zombie bitch. 
Get your freedom with this from the internet. Get your freedom on this. It's the best internet for zombies like you, you brainless sons of bitches. There we go, there we go. How many zombies are there? Holy shit. Miss. There we go. That counted. For some reason. Yeah. Yep. Miss. Congratulations. Go. You've won. No. The Would you like to keep playing? Uh, you sure. bet. Ready? Six. Go. This is a weird thing. You go from 20 to 25, yeah. then to 26. Nah. What? <laughs> Screw you, got <laughs> you, eat my ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> antenna! <laughs> yeah, I got the antenna. <laughs> Look at <laughs> you go. I did a good, I did a thing. Hitting the chair, one of the options? Yeah. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it is, or I feel like it at least should be. Yeah. You. Yeah. I guess we've got everything. Congratulations! You've earned every decal we have! Yay! Pretzels are salty. Just look at what we've added to your sweet, sweet ride! Ooh. My self-esteem has never been higher! That is sexy! Look at those nice flames! Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right, so we gotta go to Stuttgart now. Where are we headed, Sam? Uh, we're gonna go to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Yavor! Onward. Well, here we are we in Stuttgart. Very atmospheric. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and stammering about? Could be. Hey, look! There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, the yeah. Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. Ooh. I can't tell if he's supposed to be barfing or asking us to tithe. Both are scary. Maybe he's supposed to be an embittered waiter spitting on our food. Even scarier. That also makes sense, actually. That's great. Zombies. Stand aside, Undead. We have to get inside. Yeah, go film a music video or something. <laughs> Typical zombies with their overinflated sense of entitlement. I... Let's go see we gotta go a coffin inside. that's been opened from the inside. Wait, mm. you mean. Zombies! That was a very convenient life was right. When they put a stone slab over your corpse, you know they really don't want you coming back. It says Birgit Farber, 1910 to 1985. At last I'm free of that no account Gerhard. It says irony, 254 BC to AD 2004. I wasn't expecting that! Here lies someone important, and tall. And anorexic from the looks of it. It says, Ascanio Sobrero, 1812 to 1888, discoverer of nitroglycerin. It says, Ascanio Sobrero, continue. It says, Muhu Man, 1972 to 1978, peace at last. 
My man blew himself in so many pieces, he got two different graves. <laughs> Get anything good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat undertakers and opportunistic German rats got to him first. Brain's in decent shape, though. Ooh! I got a brain! I got a brain. I got a brain. Finally, after all these years, I finally have a brain. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. For that extra stink of sophistication. I don't know what that one's you. Hello. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Super Bowl! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, ladies' night is always packed. The master is a genius at promotion. Excuse me? We're here on official freelance police business, Super Bowl. <laughs> Let us in! <laughs> Sorry, sir. We're at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. We must stop your dark master. We really need to get in. The line won't move any faster if you keep interrupting me, sir. The line's not moving at all, Super Ball. I don't see your point, sir. <laughs> Would you take a bribe? Maybe a few uh, Washingtons will help speed up the line. Or even a Lincoln? I hope you're not trying to bribe me, sir. I, I indeed was. Let's Let it. us end. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. Who's in charge? Who's here? in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president. This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. He really does. Hmm, what is this place anyway? What is this place anyway? The zombie factory. Master Jurgen's ancestral home. Garrison of his undead army. Best doors in all of Baden Württemberg. The best doors? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> we'll be back. Take your time. We're very crowded tonight. I love it. I'm assuming we need to put this brain somewhere, right? Bye. Finally, bad guys we can actually shoot, and it doesn't do anything! It's like we're being tortured by the Almighty. Hey. These guys really know how to take a bullet. Wow. <laughs> hey, Max, you nah, I can't condone smoking for anyone. Except cool people. Not even them. <laughs> um... Big brain. Eek. Something smells good. I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Okay. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. Next. That'd be us. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water. Taboo. You'll have to throw them away. How rude of you. Fine. We'll throw them away. All right. Let's go. We'll be back. I'll be here. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice. Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. <laughs> I love it. Welcome. Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. Ooh. Kind of quiet for a discotheque. Do I no blob. <laughs> mm, you are the new I DJs, agree. I presume. We're Sam and Max, freelance zombie hunters. Ah, oh, yes, the bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? 
We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Oh, look at me! I'm so edgy and subversive! Only Herr Fezzerly is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. Why is she and this is my army the of the photo. undead. Shit. Yeah. With every soul I take, my army grows larger. Oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster. We're here to put a stop to your evil there scheme. You. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me. <laughs> so many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am a way to dance. I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. <laughs> Is he gay or European? Gay or European? I'd say fucking both. And then some. I, 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 hate, I hate the nipple rings. I hate them so much. Especially in the picture. The watchful ear. Oh! The eyes follow me. Oh, no. I that saw... is not a medically approved use of nipple rings, kids. He's the, he's the Fanny medically approver. That is not a medically approved <laughs> use of nipple rings, kids. Oh, I hate it so much. Why are his nipples so pretty? Stop looking at me. Nasty. Nasty bitch. Hey man, how's the party? Having a good time? They're about as articulate as your typical club goer. Yeah, fair enough. Do you come here often? <laughs> Tough break, Sam. Next time try, I think my package is the bomb. Oh dear god. Wait, hold on, we dance? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at us go. Love it! Where are you going, Max? Come on, come back here and dance. Come on now. Shake that thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we, we have to stop the evil villain. But we're all good with dancing with him for a bit. <laughs> Anyway, Jürgen! Come here, boy. Excuse us, Mr. Let's Vampire Prince. Uh, we're here to destroy you. And everything you stand for. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> you can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. <laughs> you have the you have a source of power? Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans! The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trends. The style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. Hmm, what's your... Okay, Midtown Cowboys is big here. So, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her Featherly's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. The what was that? that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you are so tragically unhip. I, uh, yeah, uh, were you dancing? Not to pry, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves, but my people recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! Yeah! Uh, 
See that? That is power, my American friends. Uh, you call those moves? You call that dancing? If my sciatica weren't acting up, I'd show you some real dancing. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are, Jurgen. The sight of Sam trying to dance. Oh, the horror. Your empty <laughs> threats bore me. Now, be gone, so my zombie posse and I can rock this house party to the break of dawn. Oh, yeah. This dance the night away. And still the sun rises, yeah. Stop dancing, just stop. You dance like a flounder just pulled up on deck. Flounders aren't as sickly pale as this guy, though. Ja, ja, whatever. My people know who's got the moves. Jürgen does! <laughs> you ain't all of that. You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable as you are. Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Every night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. Yes, me mere coincidence. Mere coincidence. Oh, it is all Oh, here it's again. on. Oh, yeah, very well, bad, but bad I bad. always emerge victorious. I gather one could say, it's in my blood. <laughs> He's doing it again, Sam, being all Euro freaky. Don't let him psych you out, little buddy. <laughs> Let's show him how the real goths do it. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My name is, um... Southern Gothic. Um, Sam... Count Cryptwin Death Crafts. See you rhyming K9. Shamus Dog. <laughs> I'm assuming gotta be like, oh, dog, creepy, melancholy. So you know what? Count Cryptwin Death Grasp it is. Count Cryptwin Death Grasp. And I'm, uh. MC Lagamorph, DJ Rabbity Fang, Baron Bat Anguish for Nightmare. Max. <laughs> Baron Bat Anguish for Nightmare. And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? We'll knock you out deader than <laughs> Bella Lugosi. We're taking over your house like we're Nancy Pelosi. We're rocking sun dance like we're Parker Posey. We like our breakfast nook cause it's sunny and cozy. Um, let's see here. We'll beat you deader than Bella Pelosi. We'll Bella knock Lugosi. you out deader than Bella Lugosi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. Cause we're the good guys, he and the... <laughs> G to the R O, and we kick it old school like Pop Rocks and Charo. <laughs> Our world is endless torment and sorrow. We build technology for a brighter tomorrow. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Oh God, cuz we're... <laughs> We're flabby and pink like a salmon filet Because our panther is snappy like David Mellet play Because we're stupid and loud like a film by Michael Bay <laughs> I like that one Because <laughs> all creation ends in death and decay Because yeah. all creation ends in death and decay Entropy, G Weep, children of the night! Yeah! Yeah! What? You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter. I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair! Ah, 
to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is energizing, intoxicating. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. All creation Why ends in death and decay. Bella Lagos is dead. Hey, you just stole our rhymes. It was not what you say, but how I say it. I am smooth like coffin of velvet. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate it so much. Ooh, Ready to drop some fat beats or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. Hmm. Buttons. Ooh. Ooh, buttons. Hmm. Razors. Ooh. Embrace. Blood. Blood. Death. Death. Parents. <laughs> Pure energy. Letters. Sub-Zero. Pain. Succubus. Desire. Sepulchre. Misery. Torment. Abyss. Interesting. Okay. There's a note here. There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher. Her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. Wait a minute. Those are words that are on the DJ booth. Do I type that into the DJ booth? My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulchre, her only passion the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. Hmm. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase. What's it say? It's been worn down. I can't read it. That doesn't even rhyme. Do I have to type it into this? Death. 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 Embrace. Sepulcher. Letters? Letters. No. I wish the people making these fake books would at least try to make them look real. Hmm. A purely decorative display of violence, kind of like Max. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher, her only passion the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. My dark mistress longs for death to return death. to her velvet sepulcher, her sepulcher. only passion the void's embrace, Race. or else she'd letters. reply to my letters. Okay. Death. 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 Sepulcher. Embrace. Letters. Hey. Look, Max. Gee, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. I will, but I don't know that with you. Let's go inside. I can't see a thing. Is that your hand? Oops, sorry, little buddy. Ooh. It's the spotlight for the zombie's dance floor. Hmm. 
so... Holy water's banned. Cigarettes banned. Spot. Mind the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? H how? How did you? You know, never mind. I don't want to know. Right, I have an idea. I have an idea. It's a dumb one. Very, very dumb. But it's an idea. We're not leaving, are we? Yes, we have to. Uh, let's go home. Yeah, let's head back home. At least we're right now. So I have an idea. Or two. Let's go inside Stinky's here. Want to help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. Wait. wait. Did we get a bulb like this in the original game and it hit the road? I need to go back and play that again. I know I, know I played it like relatively recently, but I, I want to go back and play it on stream because I I messed up so much. Because the game is it's it's a classic point and click. It does not tell you shit or give you any sort of hints. Game's a mean son of a bitch. The zombie's beer stein. And I'll pick it up. I have an idea. Bit of a dumb one, but an idea. It's the place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. It's a very dumb one with an idea. Ooh, banang! Banang! Tastes great and fun to say. Banang! Banang! Taste great and fun to say. Banang. Taste great and fun to say. No, you're not gonna do something dumb? Okay. Fair enough. Banang. 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 Hmm. Let's see, so now we're gonna. What are we gonna do with this whole. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We put something in that vase of some variety. It's just a pie. It's not something you really I think talk I about. I'm thinking. Mm, Bye. No, okay. Didn't get anything from you. Nope. Okay. Well. Kind of throws that idea out the window. Is it going to the TV station? Where are we headed, Sam? The Wanna station. go to the WARP studio? Do I? You're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four... Hang on. Ah, I can't work like this. Actors. <laughs> oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. Well, then. Hey, Fiddly, how Look, you doing? Max, it's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly. The name is Featherly. Hmm... You're not Philo Pennyworth? I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? 
No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. Are you sure, some actor you are? What happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year and still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. I mean, fair enough. Uh, did you know you're absolutely huge in Germany? Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life! That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless. You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha. 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 Hmm. Do you have any crazy fans? Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta! <laughs> she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. <laughs> with your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, I may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. Raiderville? Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unfathomable reason. Didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been no. busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. Uh, what's the secret to a great performance? What's the secret to a great performance? The true art of theater is all about improvisation. Uh, an oral surgeon that. from Houston during the French Revolution. Well now, missy, looks to me like what y'all got is an impacted molar. Damn you, Robespierre! And scene. Do you understand? A great actor must be ever prepared for any eventuality. I don't know what that one Any more acting tips? Do you have any more acting tips for us? It's hardly complicated. Just follow my lead and don't touch anything. Sounds like Sam's prom night. Break a leg. Or worse. Hey, Bessie, how you doing? Hello, Bessie. Still not speaking to me? I see. Hello, Bessie. I wonder what that is. Ooh, a bag. Hello. Must be a prop in the episode. Hmm. Hey, What's going on here exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest episode of Germany's top rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany. What's the episode about? What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's intervention episode. Sounds hilarious. This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues, whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. Is it really? What's our motivation? What's our motivation? Your motivation is to not get fired. Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lead. He's the one who's selling the t-shirts and soundtrack CDs. I mean, fair enough. Uh... How do we get in on all this licensing money? You don't. You signed away all your rights to your image when you filmed the Chef Bessie episode. I don't remember signing anything. So that's what all that fine print said. Besides, I don't see you two as TV stars. Start smaller, like with comic books or video games. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm in the studio anyway. What happened to all the other shows in this studio? I want to go on cooking without looking again. They've all been cancelled. The entire studio is devoted to Midtown Cowboys and its spin-offs now. Spin-offs? There are spin-offs of Midtown Cowboys? 
Naturally, Downtown Cowgirls, That's So Bessie, Midtown Cowboys Special Heifers Unit, and of course, the sensitive and heartbreaking Midtown Shepherds. I wish I knew how to quit watching that. I, um, let's film? We're ready to start filming. It's about time. All right, people, places, everyone. Let's make some money. Art. Let's make some art. Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding a cow. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies. Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Malt liquor. Got smack brand malt liquor? We see you drinking it all the time. All right. I admit it. I am addicted. Oh, how could I not be? It's got the smooth hickory age taste that makes every night a special night. It sounds delicious. Let's go buy some right now. Boys, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> Right, about that. Looks like you'll need to buy three bottles of old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. Cows love it too. Uh huh? I, I don't think you're supposed to give cows and liquor. Cut. As the great Lee Strasberg once said, Cha Ching. Old Gutsmack liquor <laughs> still. <laughs> I need to read the whole thing. Screw you. That window is still depressing as shit. Nothing beats watching the brick rise in the morning. Exit door, front door, kitchen door, kitchen door. Hey, no wandering around. Record the scene or get out. Wow, bitch. Cannibalized from a Donner Party wagon, I suspect. Um, uh, something? I don't think that really belongs in the bag. I mean, why wouldn't it? As fake as Myra's nose, lips, and hair. Shame no one ever thought to televise poker. Hmm. The characters we play are champion horseshoe skippers. But in real life, we're champion horse skippers. Is that really a good thing? I don't think it's a good thing. Are we leaving already? Yes. Let's see. Let's, oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can we go and shove around? Uh, Ooh, right, wait, um... Let's go back to the office. Couldn't we use the office to actually like, bring her out? Maybe? Possibly? Or Stuttgart? Possibly? I think I'm missing something here. I weep nightly for our little lost gumballs. The eye eye. I love that commercial. Arr, lad, tell me what is the finest in replacement optics. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, go ahead and tell me. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Arr. Aye, aye, Captain. I just remembered I hate that commercial. <laughs> the interactive domino museum is still open? I thought it fell over last year. It did, but they just keep putting it up again. Fair enough. Excuse me? No traceable arsenic? What the f Excuse me? Hey, cops. No, See no, you no. later. Flying kites is safe and sun. <laughs> Whee! Flying kites is safe and I'm fine, Sam. Thanks, man. Where are we headed, Sam? Uh, we're gonna go to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. I feel like if we grab the cigarettes back out of the, uh, out of the bin, put them in the 
bag. Okay, we can be allowed inside. Maybe. Whee! Awesome. I, I'm assuming so. It'd be so happen. Cool. On the latest trends. Well, surely. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. Surely. If I put that on the TV, he'll want it inside. Surely. Right? Yes. We're not leaving, well, are we? Big brain, I, I hope at least. Let's go to the to WARP the studios. Studio. Oh boy! Away! Hello, Fiddly. Can I put this in here? Hey, I can, sweet. Oh, mm, how are we? How are the ratings for the last episode? How are the ratings for the last episode? Through the roof. Everybody who's anybody in Germany is watching the show. I can finally release a set of limited edition Spaten forks with my face on them. Interesting. Uh, we want to film another again? episode of the show. Sure, why not? Repackage it as an alternate take. It'll be huge. All right, let's go, people. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies. Just look what you're doing to Bessie. <laughs> we saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good, man, they're good for you. What a heart smart it, it, smoking it, it, choice. Excuse me? And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. And that's a wrap. See that, boys? That is acting. I cool German say ja to garlic clove cigarettes. Oh God. That is that that is foul. Are we leaving that is already? So foul. Like, I adore garlic. I love garlic. I would marry a clove of garlic, but like, ugh. Garlic flavored smokes? Just. Lung. Who doesn't love a lungs full of garlic flavored smoke? It's fucking disgusting. Ooh, wait, hold on. Let's go back to the office. I have a bottle now, right? Right? I have the bottle looking. So if I were to... Ooh! Wait... Whee! I'm thinking big brain! If we dump the liquor into here, can it be blessed? I don't want to defile the sacred urn with that cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. I want to defile the sacred urn with that cheap stuff. Banang. Tastes great and fun to say. Can we give me get Hugh Bliss out of the closet? And throw him in the thing? may not talk as much now, but Hugh still has all the charm of a pint of urine. Literally. Ew. Mm. So... That wasn't a play. Hmm. I feel like we're on to something though, right? I gotta be. Do I put the liquor in the beer spike? Nothing doing. No, okay. Well, let's go back to Germany then. Oh, no. Where are we headed, it's Sam? Germany. It's ja. Let's go to Stuttgart. Onward. All right. We 
are here. Mmm, yeah, zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style. Am I right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's. Uh, I feel. I know you're a piece, but I feel bad for you smoking fucking garlic cloves with the reds. That is disgusting. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. What about it says? Is it... Hmm. Ugh, smells like musty cobwebs and half digested corn dogs in here. I had nothing to do with the cobwebs. What, so you're saying you have something to do with the with the corn dogs? Oh. <laughs> oh, that is bright as shit. Holy crap. That is blinding. Oh my god. Hey, Jurgen. Hey, Jurgen. Meow. Meow. Just you dance like dancing. a flounder just pulled up on deck. Flounders aren't as sickly pale as this guy, though. Ja, ja, whatever. My people know who's got some moves. Jorgen does! I'm gonna tear off your nipple rings. We'll leave you alone. For now. Count the hours, Jurgen. Count the hours until your doom! Just yeah, sure. Remember, there's a two-drink minimum. Chandelier? A haunted disco ball. Disco will never die! Um, I'm pretty sure it did. Let's see, can I do anything over here with this? Typewriter ribbon? What? That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. What good is that? What we really need are healing herbs. Nice. Nice reference. I like that. Uh, memories of <laughs> memories of Resident Evil 4. Ooh, Why do water. they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. <laughs> I like no beer around the bush for that one. Just because of all the drugs, Sam. All the drugs. All the drugs. Ooh, dead fish. Just when you thought things couldn't get any better, undead fish. So we now have water. So we can make holy water now. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Or well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Abyss or Something, something. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been this worn down. Rhyme, malice, something. Abyss. Abyss. Desires, abyss, letters. Razors. Misery. Misery. Pure energy? Pure energy. I didn't get it right. Hold on. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Abyss. 
like ra- well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, Abyss, but it's like been worn down. Razors, my pain. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Something. So it's Abyss, Razors, Pain, something. Abyss. Abyss. Pain. Razors. Razors. Parents? Parents. Parents. No. Abyss. Pain. Razors. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Um. Pure energy. No. Or look here. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's Abyss, been worn down. Razors, pain. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Did that say parents? I think it does. Was I on the right track earlier? Abyss. Pain. Razors. Parents. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Parents. No? Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn this down. This razor's pain. Abyss. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Desire, misery, torment? Torment. No. Pain, sickness, I... Yes. Oh, here, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Abyss. Abyss. Razors. Razors. Pain. Embrace? Embrace. Abyss. Abyss, razors, pain, desire, desire. Hmm. We'll come back to it later. Shall come back to it later. For now, I'm gonna go make some holy water. We're gonna go with the power of G. We're not leaving, are we? So we're gonna go to the stu uh, blah, 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 studio. We're yeah, go let's head back home. So, let's make holy water! Sim, sim, salabim! Hey, nice, you have a holy water! And people said a slab of curiously shaped rock couldn't be vice president. Mies click. Mabel. I am on the right track, though. I just don't know how I'm off. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. Hmm. Where are we headed, Sam? 
Let's, Let's go Stuttgart. to Stuttgart. Sir, you'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. Are, are you sure I saw him smoking garlic clove cigarettes in there? Uh, you want to drink? drink up, pal? Mmm, tastes like righteousness. <laughs> nice halo. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. Uh, understood. So, holy water out here? Yes. Nice halo. <laughs> it's the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. <laughs> yeah. Sub urine. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Let's rhyme, sucker. Max and I want to challenge you again. We'll prove we've got the bleakest rhymes. You know me. I'm Count Cryptwind Deathgrasp. And I'm Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. Let's see here. We're already woed, you. But here's an encore. We've heard that you heard our ride. Let's get to Jorgen. We've already vowed. And here's an encore presentation of our goth stylings, where the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? See, we'll knock you deader than Bella Lugosi. We'll knock you out deader than Bella Lugosi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. <laughs> I love it. We kick it old school like Pop Rocks and Charo. And we kick it old school like Pop Rocks and Charo. Nostalgia, Holmes! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause we're stupid and loud like a Michael Cause we're stupid and loud like a film by Michael Bay. The rock wasn't too bad. Peace out! Yeah, yeah. Pathetic. You have all the street cred of white 30-year-old video game programmers. Ouch. Ouch! Now, take a listen to how okay. far it is done. Rude asshole. <laughs> Bleeding wounds self-inflicted. Baffle morning hackatai. Witch queen nurse has no other septic. Bandages cover scabs of despair. Yay! Yay! <laughs> You're right. What happened? So I fun. feel the original sin again. The holy water wore off. Did you make a no-no while I wasn't looking? No, honest, Sam. It just wore off. Oh, shit. The holy water wears off. All right. Back outside we go. There's a bottle of holy water in here. All right, buddy. Come over here. Take a big sip. Take a big boy sip. Mm -mm -mm. Holy! <laughs> Alright, back in the trash you go. We can't we can't fuck around this side. We gotta go inside. <laughs> we gotta go inside and actually do it for real now. It's the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. Yeah. God, you are so fruity. I love it. Hey Jorgen. <laughs> Meow. Yes. Let's ride. Max and I want to challenge you again. You know me. I'm Count Cryptwind Deathgrasp. And I'm Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? Let's see here. Um. We eat our breakfast no, because it's nice and cozy. We'll knock you out deader than Bella Lugosi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. We gotta be serious now. Our world is endless. Our world and is sorrow. endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You blood sucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause we're still. <laughs> Cause all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Weep, children of the night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On still, you cannot win. Cut that out. 
I hope you got something in mind here, Sam. I'm getting kind of woozy. Drag me to hell with scarred arms. Uh oh Time down below. Very soon need release. Excuse a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hold your holy water, Jurgen. You dare defile my... Oh, wait. Hold, hold on. on. <laughs> that was gruesome! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the master now, Master Jurgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z-Boys still got my back. Are you sure about that? Now, how do we get you to... Hey, Jorgen. Meows. Meows. Alright, take care, buddy. We'll be back to kill you later. Do we move the light? I'm assuming we move the light. I don't think he's gonna. I think I don't think it's gonna like nasty flow into him. All right. It's the spotlight for the zombie's dance floor. Do we move it? I wish you were a zombie. What would you do if you were a zombie, Max? <laughs> what wouldn't I do? I've got two years worth of stuff planned to do to my junior high school teachers alone. Really? I never expected we'd end up on a Creatures of the Night Club, did you, Max? It was always my secret wish I dared not speak aloud. Really? This place isn't as cool as we'd been led to believe. Seriously, pacifiers and glow sticks? Just because they're dead doesn't mean style has to be. I always crowd? pictured a rave as being more crowded. There are probably strict fire codes, seeing as how zombies and vampires are so gloriously flammable. He raises a very good point. I don't think that Jorgen guy is all that cool. These zombies have embarrassingly low standards. Do you find that Jorgen guy to be as fey and off-putting as I do? He single-handedly sent vampires way, way down on my list of unholy creatures I'd like to meet and or become. What do you... what do vampires What's hate? something that vampires hate, Max? Coffee-flavored ice cream. Well, naturally. But I was hoping for something specific to vampires. I actually like coffee-flavored ice cream. How dare you? Stay cool, Max. Always. It's the spotlight for the zombie's dance floor. I'm trying to think, how do we get him to move? I'm pretty sure this is useless. Maybe we shoot at him? I, I, I don't know. Nah. No, um... I'm pretty sure this is useless. Fair enough, I guess. I guess shoot his ass? Bang! Bullets? <laughs> As if, please. I am far too fast for any mortal to defeat me. Hmm, I guess we're going to have to take the subtle approach. Aw, oh, Sam. When are we ever just going to get to shoot bad guys? Uh, never, at this rate. Never. Want some booze I here? I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. Hmm. Not as sharp as it looks. Kinda like Max. How do you get him to move? Well, that's what you're gonna sell In the meantime, I guess. Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Abyss, razors... There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Pain. There's a poem Something. inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. I feel like this guy would be parents. There's a poem so. inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Hmm. 
it ends in S. Succubus? I don't think so. But hey, you never know. Abyss. 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 Razors. Razors. Pain. Succubus? Succubus. No. Abyss. Razors. Razors. Pain. Parents. I think that's the right thing. That's gonna be the right thing, right? Can you kill a man with pure volume? I don't know, but I just got the name for my next thrash metal album. Can I shoot with this? Oh! They just don't stay down. Much Fuck like you. Stinky's food. Eat my that ass. doesn't do any good. It's still fun. That it is. How did you move? Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Hmm. You dance like a flounder just pulled up on deck. Flounders aren't as sickly pale as this guy, though. Ja, ja. All right, take it. Hmm, that's the right thing, then. Do we shoot the light? I don't want to break it. The flashing lights may yet induce a seizure in Max. I don't want to break it. The flashing lights may yet induce a seizure in Max. Hmm. It's got to be a way to get him to move, right? So I feel like there's a way to get him to move. That Jorgen creep is pretty uncool, huh? I heard he wears corduroy and hasn't even seen the Matrix. <laughs> you to move. That's... Hmm. A fireplace with no fire, no logs, and no chimney. Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. That is not a medically approved use of nipple rings, kids. I'm missing something incredibly simple and stupid. I feel like I gotta be. I feel like I gotta be. Hmm. What oh what oh what am I missing? What? Oh, what? Oh, what am I missing? Hmm. Any ideas, Max? I'll feed her, Sam. It's in time. No. Spooky castle, huh? Sheepers, you said it. It sure was nice of your aunt to let us visit for the Rock Music Festival. I just hope we don't run into a... G -g -g ghost How many times have I asked you not to do that, Max? Sorry. <laughs> I'll feed her, Sam. Trying to think. What... What can we get? What can we get? work out. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. What am I missing? What, oh, what, what am I missing? Was the first Google season it. of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stay cool, Max. Okay, so you have nothing really to give me, hit wise. Um. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. 
We will end you, Jorgen. And incidentally, what was the source of your power again? It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trance. You dance like a flounder just pulled up on deck. Flounders aren't as sickly pale as this guy, though. Ja, ja, whatever. My people know who's got the moves. Jorgen does. All right, take care, buddy. We'll be back to kill you later. Trying to think, what do we do to make this thing move? Uh, do we change the beat? Do an effect or some of some kind? Like. Oh, and yeah. my latest dance yeah. is called the inconsolable Nephilim. Check it. Oh, 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 it burns! That was Alrighty! It's okay, no problem, we're still cool. <clears throat> oh, that is the very last of the straws! I don't care. I did not become the Prince of Darkness just to make the friends, you know? I will destroy you, Sam and Max! Even without the stupid zombies! Who needs them anyway? Oh God! Get your thumbs out of your nipple. Zombie pile on you again! Oh. Save some of the entrails for me, guys. We're not through yet, pal. After him. Get his ass. I I still hate that picture. Why is he gotta be so antsy with the nipple rings? Ah. I don't care if those dumb zombies like me anyway. They're so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said? Uh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants long ago. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire Earth my non-stop house party of evil. Man? And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Oh, Wiedersehen, Sham und Max. <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could make... Ooh. You are dead. Is that it? That can't be it. Click to continue. Oh well, god. that was unpleasant. That jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We, suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max, we've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. There you go, much better. Yep. What the fuck are you doing here, Abe? Zombie Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. Do I know you? I... We are Sam and Max. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. Oh, that's just weird. You know us, Abe. Emergency elections, thrilling car chases, adventures on the moon, Easter Island. Ruining your reputation, hitting you with a missile, making you throw up, pointing and laughing when your girlfriend dumped you. Ridiculous, all of it. Wait, is this one of those hidden zoetro programs? Excuse me? Um, how did you get here exactly? How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. How oddly convenient. Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. She'd be perfect for you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. 
It's kismet. I'll hear no more of this. I'm a happily married. I'm a contentedly. Be I I'm a married man. <laughs> Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. She'd be perfect for you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. It's kismet. I'll hear no more of this. I'm a happily married. I'm a contentedly... Be I I'm a married man. <laughs> That's it all right there, Abe. How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that the boot fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony. <laughs> well, you know how the play is? You might not be able to catch the rest of that play, Mr. Lincoln. Want to know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. Spoilers. <laughs> the villain was Hugh Bliss. Germs destroy the Martians. You see the Statue of Liberty. You get shot and turn into one of the Walking Dead. You get shot and turn into one of the Walking Dead. Well, that sounds horrible. I don't know why I let Mary keep dragging me to these things. <laughs> Watch your back. What? Why? <laughs> oh, you know, no reason. No reason whatsoever. Don't worry about it, Abe. What's hey. going on here? Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max, we can understand the zombies now. Mmm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelsplaner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. Uh, what happened? Jurgen put us in some big machine, and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, hey? None of us can. It's extremely excellent. Uh, I don't want that one, Chief. Uh, how do we get back to normal? How do we get back to normal? We're not cut out to be zombies. Yet another of my life's ambitions down the crapper. Yeah, I could tell. You shamba like you've still got your souls. We do have a soul. What do you mean, we act like we've got soul? No offense, guy. Lots of zombie kids thinks it's cool to act like alive these days. We call them zombies, but it's cool, hey? How do we get our souls, back? We get our souls back? Don't know. They say Jürgen does something with them, but I've never been in the VIP lounge. Hmm. Glad you like the brain, You enjoyed the brain we gave you? Oh, yeah, it was delicious. He must have been really smart. Sorry we don't have any more brains to give you. No problem, eh? The gang went down to the village to get some more. From now on, we only eat them from high up gargoyles, like American style. Hey, so long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. Eating them from a high up gargoyle is like an American style, okay. Smacky smacky. Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Oh, uh, let's go home? Yeah, let's head back home. Let's see what kind of hell we can raise. Oh no, we gotta handle the run! Come back here, you stupid hand! He's on the run! Oh god, there he goes! Shoot! <laughs> hey, Bonk, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you? Oh, that is like the black pot calling names at the cattle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals! <laughs> This parking meter could withstand anything. Ah, parking meters. They're like the cockroaches of architecture. They really are. Beat it, deadbeat. It's a free country, pal. Go away, hooligan. Uh, make me. I mean, I can. I could shoot you. Ah. 
Cats only. Wait, he can understand us? Wait, what? Stinky! Help! Someone help! Oh, so, oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Concern it, he's too fast! <laughs> Things pissy! Uh, what do we get on this side? Bang! Eat my ass! Holy shit, okay, um... I'm gonna go over here. Ooh! I can make you move. Wait! Question today is right up. Uh, how did the hand get the gun? And more importantly, who had the gat to, for, the, for the hand to steal? Shit. Balls. Bang. Howdy. Can I get close to you? It's Jesse James's reanimated shooting hand. Surly, even in death. Oh god, okay. Very pissy. It's Stinky's Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Let's get over here. Shit. Oh, dang it. Get like right in the right area. Okay. Bitch! Bitch! Don't just groan and point. Do something! <laughs> hey, that could've worked. Hey, you! Fuck you! Aha! You saved me, Zombie Sam and Zombie Max. My heroes. Torn't nothing, ma'am. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, Lincoln, what you think of us? Oh, great. Zombies. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Wow. Wow. Asshole. He signed with a heart. Either he secretly loves Stinky, or he's a fourth grade girl. We don't serve zombies in here. Do you have any idea how expensive brains are? I'll take that, there. Mr. James. I have a hand! Yay! The, the two-headed man, huh? We are sorry, we can't understand yeah, you. Kind of up, but if you'd like to share Maybe. the magic of SOL with your new zombie friends, feel free to keep driving. Zombies walk funny. Wow. He's not wrong, though. You know, I'm pretty sure that's Buddha. I'm too tired to think right now. <laughs> Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, I think I've narrowed it down to two guys. But I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? Mm, I mean, there is Super Bowl. Super Bowl is kind of cool, to be fair. <laughs> Maybe I am being picky, Sam. I just don't want to keep making the same mistakes with men. Wait, 
Can you actually understand me? Yeah. I know it's what's inside that counts. I'm not being superficial. I'm being discerning. You sure about that? <laughs> Fine. Make jokes. But don't I deserve the right to meet my dream man? I... I'm pretty sure we're actually a conversation. Yeah. That's all well and good. But if you really want to help, help me find the perfect man. Yeah. That's all well and good. But... Yeah, no, but... Really... That's so weird. Nah. I can't understand you, my good man. Diction, diction. Sybil can speak zombie. That's incredibly weird. Hey, Harry. Nah. What are they doing? Make them stop. Nah. What are they doing? <laughs> nah. What are they doing? <laughs> No! Please! I need that! Wow, Harry. No! I need that! Oh, no, you don't. Those aren't your gifts. Well, what if I want them to be my gifts? I'm not going back in that closet. Not after all we've accomplished. Come on, go back in the closet. Think positive. I already tried that. Try, think again for the very first time. Mm, what a hand. Yeah. What are they doing? Hmm. Booze? I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. Where's zombie? Sybil's unlucky in love. Sybil's yeah. still not having any luck finding her soulmate. She acts like miserable, dried-up old spinster is a bad thing. I mean, it, yeah, it is, it is. Sybil's place just isn't the same when you're a zombie. Yeah, annoying and terrifying your neighbors is only fun when there's a challenge to it. Was it really challenging? I mean... <laughs> we're a salmon max. Well, shit. Hmm. Maybe we have to go and... Where are we headed, Sam? Back to the castle? Let's go to Stuttgart. Maybe there's something there that I missed? It's very possible. Alright, let's see. What happened? Where are we? Jorgen tried to kill us. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Mr. President, I can't understand you. Never learned to speak, zombie. Would have been useful, in retrospect. It, it really, it really would have. <laughs> no, sir. The zombie factory does not have free wireless internet access. That is not what we asked. <laughs> that depends, sir. In terms of geographic area or population density. Huh? Yeah. About 11.25, sir. We were open till 3 a.m. Uh, ah. Yes, sir. It is warm for this time of year. No, no, that's not what we asked. Ah. I don't agree, sir. The advantages of a common currency like the euro outweigh any nationalist concerns. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's very funny. I hadn't heard that one before. Yeah. <laughs> that one still works. <laughs> you may not understand what we say, but apparently everything around us understands what we mean when we say. <laughs> Good night, sir. Oh, I love it. Oh, there was Lincoln. Where was I sitting? Um, somewhere on, probably. I don't want to bother him. 
It's too much fun waiting for him to catch on that he's dead. Oh god. Stop dancing. Die! Oh god, hello. Flint paper! Excuse me. Eat bullets, chumps! Hey! Ow! Yow! I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? Right here. We are right here. Ah, uh, no, not you guys too. Hate to do this, fellas, but Sam and Max always said they'd rather die than become one of those things. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you, Max? Nah, I'm pretty sure he was making that part up. Yeah. 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 Hey, Lincoln, can I have a, a ham? He may have been our best president, but he's a total glass jaw against lone gunmen. It's what's left of zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain. Eat hot lead, Walking Dead! We cannot have it, sadly. Can we get into a shootout? Why right. not? Hmm. Wait, he's sneaking around his ass. Right, right. Let's go! Can be a sneaky sneaky. It's the spotlight for the zombie stance floor. Mm. I wish we had our souls back. It's funny, Sam. I like just about everything about being a zombie, except for the constant itchiness. You notice that too? I wonder what Flint Paper's doing here. The same thing he does everywhere kicking ass. I mean, that's fair. I miss zombie Abraham Lincoln already. Me too, but it was worth it to see that savage beatdown Flint gave him. Yeah, it's a bittersweet loss. That was epic. Let's see here. Go cool. figure. Yeah. This place isn't any cooler as zombies. Maybe we have to die again and become European to really appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You too! What do we do to get up to get up paper? Maybe that's useful now? Maybe it's pain razor. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. This razor's pain parents? I'm guessing? Abyss. Razor. Razors. Pain. Parents. No. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Sub Zero. Abyss. Pain. Razors. Torment. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. It does say parents. Well, if we go, then I guess, because I have no fucking clue what we do here. Oh, great. They're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Your ride? Excuse me? Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. 
Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal. Ah, oh, nuts. The batteries are dead. Never die batteries. They're dead. How ironic. Looks like a delicate piece of high-precision medical equipment. I bet my lifetime subscription to the Fortean Times that that's an alchemy machine. Hmm. I can't understand these. Therefore, they're not important. Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! You sure? Jurgen must be sleeping you off sure? his humiliation at the zombie club. Let's chop off his head, then set him on fire, then go for ice cream! We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Then let's put his hand in warm water. <laughs> That's an idea. Okay, fun, fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. What's your How beef so? against us? He never paid attention to me. And you're not much better. We'll force you back in if we have to. You can't make us do anything. Come on, guys. We need our souls. It's no fun being the way I am when it's expected of me. Good riddance. Get your own souls. We did. You are our souls. We'll find a way to make you come back. You'll get distracted and start watching TV. Or go off on random shooting sprees and forget all about us. As usual. Ooh, creepy. It's like they can predict our every move. Hmm. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Oh. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Yeah, I was right, it was parents. Abyss Razor's pain parents. Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jorgen. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy. Nice. Wait, uh, oh, I, want, I wanted to have a, I wanted to ask for the picture of that. Oh well. Maybe we can activate until we solve that. Maybe? That's how we fix it. Oop, come on, come on. There we go. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Parents. Oh, that's... Look, Sam. I did not expect that thing I over had there to right open. The whole time. But I couldn't activate it until I saw that. Dang portrait, son of a bitch. I don't know if I should feel smart or stupid. Why is the floor so sticky? There's not a single possible answer to that question that I like. This is very true. Came ah! from behind. Let's go, little buddy. <laughs> Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. I, I, I think he's dead. I'm disappointed Flint fell for such an old trick. I'm disappointed Flint fell for such an old trick. I, 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 I think he's fucking dead. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that man is dead. <laughs> Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. It's so yeah. Can I shove you in there? It is at times like these. When a monster is driven to consider his place in history, are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings 
bodies and souls. Yeah, okay, we get it. Computer chip? Please remember to update my BIOS settings. Oh no, I've overslept. I'm late, I'm late. Artichoke heart? Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? <laughs> That wouldn't make a good heart. That's not suitable for a brain. Now what are you talking about? A bottle of booze is good for a brain. Ooh, want a hand? Hey. All the heavy construction's already been done. Now it's just plug and play. Um. Oh no, I've overslept. I'm late, I'm late. Cauliflower? Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Stone? Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today, and that's just the orphanages. <laughs> uh, Listen, brothers. Have, have Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Hmm. You want the zap your ass or Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. No. I'm pretty sure this is useless. Yeah, yeah. So... It's the machine that removed our souls from our bodies. There's a television here? I'm assuming... You'd think a guy with his own dungeon would invest in more secure cages. I'm assuming we need to get that chocolate from... Ooh, power switch. Right, cool. Bring life to this decaying lump of flesh. We mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! Zappy zappy! It lives! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! He's almost a birthday? Oh shit. What in the hell? Well... Kind of sucked the horror right out of it, huh? <laughs> yeah, it really did. Hey, Jürgen. Hey, Gruesome. You're not Master Jürgen. Who are you? I don't know why I called him Jürgen. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Prismatologist, what? We're from the Church of Prismatology, offering a completely free session to test your bliss level with our patented blissometers. Well, it's not very blissful in this dungeon. Leave the science to the professionals, pal. Now bend over. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Excuse me? Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipasto. Hey, monster, what do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. <laughs> hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm... Coalinga? <laughs> Why so right. glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. 
no one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? Dramatic. But monsters are awesome, What's though. so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. You've got us! Please kill me. <laughs> What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jurgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. Hmm, Jurgen's a creepy You don't right? like Jurgen, do you? Well, he did give me life and tried to help me feel complete. With self-help books and weekend retreats? Yes, but mostly by experimenting with the items on the operating table. Hmm, so what's Jurgen's plan? Your pal Jurgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Why not an army of hey, you monster Titan, guys you instead? A no I'm see. a conscientious objector. Oh, wow, okay. Lovely. Some big, fearsome, gruesome monster you are. Uh, we have a perfect bride to help you treat your loneliness, my You're friend. in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jurgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds... intriguing. Very much so. Let's go meet Sybil. Let's go meet our friend Sybil. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Chicken Are butt. you sure you want to go now? Yeah, let's go get in the trunk. Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, Happy I'll decide birthday. which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, <laughs> please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? <laughs> uh. All right. Bachelor number one. I'm still looking for a man who's good with his hands. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> very nice, Jurgen's monster! Very nice! Very, very, very nice! What are they doing? We're doing everything and anything to piss No! I need that! <laughs> I still can't decide. Which question should I ask? You know, how's Bruce going so far there, Titan? Um, let's see here. Uh, Brains? Oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. And Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Yeah. Bachelor number three, <laughs> your answer? What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. 
Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! What? <laughs> I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The, the, the zombies! Your anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better go. Bye, Harry. <laughs> he looks so defeated. Oh, the poor guy. There's no music. Thank you for no filling nothing. in on such short notice, Agent Superball, was it? Oh, simple. My bitch. pleasure. You're looking radiant. Why is he here? Why is he here? Sweet. Nice heart. Thank you, sir. I'm quite nervous. Intel did not suggest you would be as beautiful as a solid core walnut door with twin deadbolts. <laughs> you ratchy dog! <laughs> what is your fetish for doors? You got a problem, man. Don't leave without me. I get home thick. Relax. If we go back to Stuttgart, we'll give you a ride. But you have to wait in the trunk. <laughs> Juice. Are we cramming his massive ass into the trunk? The hell? Ooh, wait, antenna. Bolt cutters? Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense. I embrace all kinds of vandalism. Yoink. Can I use the brick in the boss goes? That doesn't need cutting. What do you mean? That's too gruesome even for a zombie to do. That doesn't need cutting. Of course it does. Brick inside. Brick and entering. It's fun. Where are we headed, Sam? We're going to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Quantum mechanics? It's quite complicated. Interesting. Interesting. Zappy Zappy? Never die batteries. They're dead. Zappy Zappy? Zappy Zappy. I can't just stick it anywhere. Of course you can. Stick it with your own ass. Cram it anywhere. It's an alchemy machine. Um, the machine's out of power. Oh, eat my dick. Zappy zappy. Neat Ooh. and dangerous. The best kind of neat. I bet that gave it enough juice. Checkbook quick! I need to give to charity! He's gonna hoard a gold now. I love it. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go back. Whee! Home, I assume? Also, I don't know if I've been screwing up, screwing up a whole bunch or what. This chapter is going on for a long ass time. We are quickly approaching the three hour mark. Bum, 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 bum. 
Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Yeah, let's head back home. Oh, wait, we have to go... Exactly to bring him along. Did I fuck up? I think I may have fucked up. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Hey, we didn't see you come in. I move swift as the night. Ah, good to know. Cool. I still can't decide. Which question should I ask? Um... Okay, bachelor number bachelor? one. I'm looking for a man with a heart of gold. How would you prove you've got one? What's that? I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. I think I've heard enough. <laughs> Okay, bachelor number one. My last boyfriend always knew the right thing to say. What sweet things would you say to me during a romantic moment? Well, it is altogether fitting and proper that I answer your question. But in a larger sense, our love would be so pure, so harmonious, so rapturous, that my mere words could do little to add or detract. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean, <laughs> yes, Bachelor One. That's perfectly adequate. I love <clears> it. Well, I think the choice is clear. Bachelor number one. Would you like to go steady? At Holy last shit. I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. After years of searching, <laughs> I finally on. found the perfect man. <laughs> what? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. <laughs> In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? I've been so stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Thanks a lot. Jerks. I suppose a weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. <laughs> nice. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore. Yeah! I got the soul or meter, whatever the hell it's called. Is Jurgen's monster around here somewhere? Ask her with him. Jurgen's monster! Oh, Jurgen's monster! Where are you? Hello? Oh, hey, Lincoln's gone. Yeah. Why are you still tied Look, up there? I can't understand you. Why are you still tied up? Whatever. All right. Back Where are we to headed, Sam? Where we go? Back to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Onward. All right. out how that thing works, Sam? There must be a button or a switch. The hell? 
What gives? Back we go. Oh, shit. Do we reverse? I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Did everybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. I I don't want to know where you... Okay. Oh, ah, hey, Jurgen. Summon Max. You, you keep returning, but you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. No matter. I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be... Obliterated. Obliterated. What? Obliterated. You know, cut off your heads, set them on fire, salt the earth. Oh, nothing doing. You're gonna regret you ever Obliterate. tangled with me and Max. I mean, Sam. As your Americans <laughs> say. Nuh uh. <laughs> oh, hey, we're Max. Cool. Hey, buddy. Stabby, stabby. Well, that's this. only good for vampires. And no. tense! Hiya, Gruesome. I am alone. Can I give that to you? Can I give anything to you? You want some bolt coders? All the heavy construction's already been done. Now it's just plug and play. It's so weird hearing that voice play out of this tiny body. Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jorgen. Let's see here. Um. Stabby, stabby. He's just too fast. Wednesday. Eat my ass. No way. That uh, those eyes. Whoa! Oh, please! Too slow. And just like that, fucking god. Hey, you're. Hey, gruesome. I am alone. Use it's Jurgen's soul-sucking machine. Stabby, 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 stabby. The soul mater pulled our souls right back, and I still feel overdressed. Shit. The soul mater pulled our souls right back. Hmm. Want a gun? Better not. I barely got a handle on Max's body, much less the monsters. Power as much? Hey, cut that out! <laughs> no! Hey, put that out! <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Let's see, what can I, what can I use here? Hey, Jurgen. What this? Not happening. No siree. Oh, wait, hold on. What if, I, what if we crack this in the soul? Nuh uh. No? It's a useless tank. It's a bottle of old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. Nope. You'd think a guy with his own dungeon would invest in more secure cages. Last time I went at him barehanded, he just about killed me. Minus the just about. You got any ideas? Be careful with my body, Max. Don't be such a baby. You're a lot more damage resistant than I ever imagined. How can you tolerate being this short? 
I overcompensate with my personality and charm. And lots of bench presses. Fair enough. How's the weather up there? You should play basketball. We'll see who's laughing once I put incriminating photos of your body on the internet. Yeah. We've got Jorgen on the run now. How do you figure? He's stronger, faster, and already killed us once today. My pep talks are a lot more convincing coming from my body. Yeah. Go bite Jorgen or something. I'm still trying to figure out how to walk with your weird legs. What's the best way to kill a vampire, Sam? I mean, Max. Ruin every pleasure he gets out of life until he wants to kill himself. Wow, that's kind of dark. Oh, wait. Did you mean best, like, quickest or most satisfying? Shit. <laughs> well, at least we're not zombies anymore. I was hoping that being a decaying corpse would help you shed a few pounds, Sam. That's not nice. You're going to make one of us self-conscious. Which one? I haven't figured out yet. <laughs> Let's get back to vampire slaying. I never stopped. Let's see your uh, criminal one of these. I bet those candy-ass vampire hunters just didn't know how to do it right. Uh, give That's only good for vampires and tents. I wish he'd just go back to bed. Hey, monster, think fast. Ooh. Well, thank you, thank you. That kind of worked out. Not entirely what I planned, but cool. Well, this is a step up, at least. It's too crowded in here! Oh, no. Oh, why do we have such high platform shoes? Oh, my God. We are fabulous. Can I have one? Ooh, yes, we can. Come here, Jürgen. Stabby, stabby. Oh, that hurt. What? No! <laughs> Hope you got the point. You suck, Jürgen! Hey, my line was better. <laughs> But I cannot be defeated. I am the Prince of Darkness. Ooh. Take this, me. We'll need it for. Ah, get a mouthful of ammo, Prince. Well, that was just rude. Hey, Sammy, you're back. Just in time, too. What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? Well, the trail's gone colder than a Dear John letter Dude, written on no-tell motel stationery. Bosco's just loud and easily startled. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the Earth! Excuse me? You're gonna leave us on that cliffhanger, you sons of bitches? How dare you? Well, everyone, that was Sam and Max, Night of the Raven Dead. I hope you all did enjoy it, because I sure as hell did. I didn't expect it to be like an extra 30 minutes longer than average for one of these episodes. Maybe I just, you know, absolutely suck ass, and it took longer than expected. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not complaining, I actually really enjoyed that. However, I, I gotta admit, although Jurgen is hilarious and he's amazing, his nipple rings terrifying. Uh, who keeps his keys there? Oh, it's just fucking weird, man. Anyway, I hope you all did enjoy, I know I did. What, I'm saying that again already. I, I said that already, what the hell? <laughs> One day, I'll be good at outros. One day. But that day is not today. <laughs> anyway, 
Let's try it again. If you're watching live right now, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the follow button so you see more of me and get notifications when I go live. If you are watching the archive, hey, how are you? How you doing? You doing good? I hope you all enjoyed too. If you're watching the archive as well, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing and sharing the stream. Uh, sharing the stream? Channel? Thing? Bobber? Badabadabber? A herder? A human herder! <laughs> consider sharing everything with your friends to help make sure the channel grows great, mighty, and powerful like the Raven Dead. And I will see you on the next stream video, whatever it is. But until then, though, guys, my name is Entival, and I will see you all next time. Whatever it is I do next, really. So, with all being said, thank you so much, and good night. I'm going to put credits play through the rest of the way, and in the stream thing. Until next time, though, guys, bye bye! Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the President of the United States.